Yo, what is up? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Austin and today we're going to talk all about cooking, right? A brand new feature in Animal Crossing, a really fun feature too. I've been having a lot of fun with cooking as you can see. I actually created a kitchen in my home, right? <laughs> I was going for kind of like a rock and roll kitchen theme, right? So this wall over here really accents uh, the stone wall, I think. Um, but yeah, and I do like yellow because yellow is kind of like an optimistic color, kind of makes things pop, you know. But yeah, like I'm really liking how my kitchen's turning out. But anyway, let's get into the video, right? So in this video, we'll be talking about how to start cooking, what food is used for, uh, where to find recipes, and where to find ingredients. So in order to like start cooking, you're going to need a stonework kitchen and you can find the stonework kitchen. Uh, it's inside the nook stop, right? Uh, there's a DIY called be a chef, uh, starter pack, right? It's like a be a chef recipe starter pack and the stonework kitchen will be in there. And that's about 2000 nook miles. All right. Um, now this isn't a hundred percent necessary because if you don't have one of these, or if you don't want one, you can also use a gas range right so the gas range is just a regular furniture item that can be bought at the at the nook's cranny i have them both in my kitchen because why not <laughs> it makes it look more like a kitchen i think so here is some recipes that you can start cooking right um now m the majority of the recipes that i have unlocked are from both uh d are from both cooking starter packs right i'm gonna go ahead and make some organic bread so let's do it voila look what i made some organic bread now what is food used for right so if you've been playing animal crossing for a while you probably already know this but if you're new to the game you may not know this or you may know this i don't know but um food is actually used for to give you energy and stamina right so you can actually uh eat some food and then you can move some trees around on your island um you can break some rocks and what's really interesting once you eat the food you'll actually get more energy than if you were to like eat just like a regular piece of fruit right so we got five energy from our home cooked meal our organic bread but if we eat one apple we'll just get like one energy right you can also use food to like decorate your house or your island as you can see food makes an awesome decoration right here all right, so now let's talk about where else we can find recipes other than the Nook's Cranny and the Nook Stop, uh, the starter packs, right? So other places we can find recipes are from our villagers. Uh, so the other day I was doing some island cleanup and kind of preparing my island, uh, clean out my storage, and I went ahead and I visited one of my villagers' homes, right? And I walked in there and she was like cooking something, right? And then she gave me a cooking recipe, which was pretty cool. So that's another place where you can find recipes. You can also get recipes from Daisy May if you buy turnips from Daisy May. Uh, Daisy May comes to your island uh, every Sunday. Uh, she comes during the morning time, right? From like 6 a.m. up until noon, I do believe. But yeah, sometimes you can find, you know, recipes washed up on the shore on Captain's Island. Um, and sometimes it'll just be a regular DIY, right? Um, you never know. All right, so let's talk about where we can find ingredients right so one way to get ingredients is by farming crops okay as you can see i just started farming now there's nothing too insane right now i'm still working on my farm if you want to start farming uh all you need to do is visit leaf right so leaf will randomly come to your island uh leaf also has his own shop on harv's island right in case you didn't know that um you can unlock a bunch of shops on harv's island i actually created a video all about Harv's Island. It's like a complete guide tour. And as you can see right here, I have all the crops except the sugar cane. I still need to get sugar cane, so yeah. I'm gonna build me a little barn on my island. I'm actually gonna turn this into a little farming area, but this is what we got so far. Now you can also uh, go fishing, and if you catch a fish, uh, you can use that fish for uh, cooking, right? So there's tons of recipes that require fish now. I know the grilled sea bass is a recipe that you'll get in the starter pack, so now we have something to do with all of our sea basses that we catch, thankfully. So let's go ahead and fish, see if we can catch anything. Oh man, I was hoping for a sea bass, and I never thought I would say that. <laughs> 
Oh, wait, I'm inspired thinking about anchovies swimming grooves. Ah, I've got ideas for recipes. So you can actually get new recipes from fishing. That's pretty cool. And if you have a wetsuit, you can actually uh, swim for sea creatures because there is some sea creatures that are in recipes. Yes, I got an oyster. Ah, nice. Sometimes we can find ingredients just growing on our island, right? So during certain seasons, you'll have some seasonal plants that will just automatically grow on your island. Uh, just like in November, you know, you have the mushrooms, right? So there are some uh, recipes that require mushrooms. Now, another place where we can find ingredients is by gathering fruit from our fruit trees, right? Because there's a lot of different fruits that are used for cooking. But um, yeah guys, so cooking's pretty simple, uh, it's really easy, and there's not really a whole lot to it. So um, yeah, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.